Hello. How are you? That's good. I'm going to need you to speak a little bit louder for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Bao Hui. Okay. And how old are you? What is your age? Uh, I'm 12 years old. 12 years old. Okay, good. And have you... Yeah. Oh, I'm teacher Rachel, sorry. Or teacher Ray. Yeah. Okay, and have you learned English before? Or is this your first time? Uh, I have ever learned English before. Okay, good. So today, this is a demo. So we're going to do something called a placement test to see what work we need to give you after today's lesson. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so welcome to iGen. So this is listening, speaking, and grammar. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to listen, and we're going to choose the correct picture. Test four, listening. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Part 1. Now look at the instructions for Part 1. For each question, choose the correct picture. Look at question 1. One. What was the weather like on Sunday? Hi, Tom. Did you go sailing on Sunday? Yes and no. What do you mean? It didn't rain, did it? No, and I did go sailing in the morning, but after a couple of hours, it was too hot and sunny, so I had to go back home. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. You can go again when it's windy and not so hot. Now listen again. Hi, Tom. Did you go sailing on Sunday? Yes and no. What do you mean? It didn't rain, did it? No, and I did go sailing in the morning, but after a couple of hours, it was too hot and sunny, so I had to go back home. Oh, that's a shame. Never mind. You can go again when it's windy and not so hot. Two. What will they do at the weekend? Shall we go to the skate park at the weekend? I love going there, but it's going to be 40 degrees this weekend and the skate park is outdoors. We could play basketball in the sports centre. I still think it would be too hot. What about going to the beach? OK, good idea. I'll borrow my brother's surfboard. Good job. Now listen again. Shall we go to the skate park at the weekend? I love going there, but it's going to be 40 degrees this weekend and the skate park is outdoors. We could play basketball in the sports centre. I still think it would be too hot. What about going to the beach? OK, good idea. I'll borrow my brother's surfboard. Three. How much did the boys' shorts cost? Were these shorts on sale? Yes. Everything on that shelf was £9.95. Great. Was this T-shirt the same price? No. 
That was £15.50, and I bought it with the shorts. So I paid £25.45 in total. Now listen again. Were these shorts on sale? Good job. Test for. Okay. So now the next part, we're going to listen and we're going to do the same thing. Test four. Listening. There are five parts to. Now listen again. Were these shorts on sale? Was this t shirt the same price? No, that was £15.50, and I bought it with the shorts. So I paid £25.45 in total. Okay, number four, we'll start now. Four. What will they do on Monday? Shall we go to the park and ride our bikes there on Saturday, Tina? I'm busy on Saturday as I'll go for a picnic with my cousins. Oh, what a pity. Well, it's a holiday on Monday, so our school is closed. Let's go then. Of course it is. Okay, that would be perfect. We can do our homework on Sunday. Now listen again. Shall we go to the park and ride our bikes there on Saturday, Tina? I'm busy on Saturday as I'll go for a picnic with my cousins. Oh, what a pity. Well, it's a holiday on Monday, so our school is closed. Let's go then. Of course it is. Okay, that would be perfect. We can do our homework on Sunday. Okay, I see you didn't circle an answer. Would you like to listen again? Yeah. Okay. We can do our homework. What will they do on Monday? Shall we go to the park and ride our bikes there on Saturday, Tina? I'm busy on Saturday as I'll go for a picnic with my cousins. Oh, what a pity. Well, it's a holiday on Monday, so our school is closed. Let's go then. Of course it is. Okay, that would be perfect. We can do our homework on Sunday. Now listen again. Shall we go to the park and ride our bikes there on Saturday, Tina? I'm busy on Saturday as I'll go for a picnic with my cousins. Oh, what a pity. Well, it's a holiday on Monday, so our school is closed. Let's go then. Of course it is. Okay, that would be perfect. We can do our homework on Sunday. Okay, I'm going to help you. So, the yes, good. Because she said we can go, or school is closed on Monday, so we can go then. So, she changed it from Saturday to Monday. Yes. Uh, teacher, do I have to turn on my camera? You don't have to. It's okay. Yes, thank you. Five. What time will the girl's father meet her teacher? Can I speak to your father, please? He's not at home now. Should I ask him to call you back at half past five when he returns? I'm meeting a customer then. I can call you back at six o'clock. Oh, he'll be meeting my school teacher at six. Can you please call at half past six? Okay, that's fine. Now listen again. Listen again. Can I speak to your father, please? He's not at home now. Should I ask him to call you back at half past five when he returns? I'm meeting a customer then. I can call you back at six o'clock. Oh, he'll be meeting my school teacher at six. Can you please call at half past six? Okay, that's fine. Yes. That is the end of test four. Okay. <clears throat> So, listening part two, questions six to ten. For each question, we're going to write the correct answer in the gap, so the space that they give us. Write one word or a number 
or a date or a time. Yes. You will hear a museum guide talking to a group of students. Do you understand yes. the uh, do you understand what you have to do or are you a little bit confused? Uh, I think I understand about it. Okay, good. If you ever get confused, <laughs> just tell me, please stop. I need help. And then I'll yeah. stop and I'll help you. Yeah. Test four, part two. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word or a number or a date or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a museum guide talking to a group of students. Welcome to the Museum of the Natural World. I know most of you are interested in the new dinosaur exhibition, so I will take you there first. The tour will take one hour. Afterwards, you can look at the rainforest and the countryside exhibitions by yourselves. Don't forget that your coach leaves at 11am, so you have three hours in total for your visit. There are guidebooks for sale at the information desk. Please remember you cannot take photographs in the museum. Of course, you may write down information in your notebooks if you like. Next year, we will have a new exhibition on technology and the natural world. We were hoping to have it ready by March the 13th. Unfortunately, it will now open a month later, on April the 12th, a week before the school holidays, which start on April the 20th. We hope you will visit us again. When you leave the museum today, please remember to collect your coats from the entrance hall. Enjoy your visit. Okay, we will listen to it again. He speaks a bit fast. Now listen again. Welcome to the Museum of the Natural World. I know most of you are interested in the new dinosaur exhibition, so I will take you there first. The tour will take one hour. Afterwards, you can look at the rainforest and the countryside exhibitions by yourselves. Don't forget that your coach leaves at 11am, so you have three hours in total for your visit. There are guidebooks for sale at the information desk. Okay, I've paused it because they have told us an answer for one of the questions. So I stopped it so that you can answer the question. Uh, I cannot hear the answer for the um, Okay, the you couldn't hear. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to hear. <clears throat> yes. He speaks very loud, uh, very fast and very like soft. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat what he said. There are guidebooks for sale and they are available at the information desk. I understand. Okay. So what is available at the information desk is guidebooks. A guidebook is something that shows you the different things that you can look at. So you can choose where you want to go. So the answer for number seven will be guidebooks. Oh, uh, how is it right? How okay. is it going? There we go. Could you just write it for me by number seven? Yeah, I, I see. Okay, because I, I don't see it, but there is the spelling over there for you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good. Please remember, you cannot take photographs in the museum. 
Please remember you cannot take photographs in the museum. Yeah. Good. Only thing is we just need an S. Oops, that's a bit thick. Um an S because it's photographs more than one. Of course, you may write down information in your notebooks if you like. Next year we will have a new exhibition on technology and the natural world. We were hoping to have it ready by March the thirteenth. Unfortunately, it will now open a month later, on April the 12th, a week before the school holidays, which start on April the 20th. I cannot hear the number. Okay. So he gave a date. He said the um, exhibition will open on the 12th of April. Your holidays start on April the 20th. Yeah. Uh, April and what? April 20th. So 20 and a small or and a T and an H. So we write numbers like 20th, 30th. It will be uh, 20. What is it? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Okay. We hope you will visit us again. When you leave the museum today, please remember to collect your coats from the entrance hall. Enjoy your visit. Okay. When you leave today, don't forget to take that your coats. That is coat the end of part two. Sorry. Don't forget to take your coats from the entrance hall. I don't understand it. I, I cannot hear. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you, but I don't understand what is uh, this. Okay, so forget means you need to remember. So don't leave it. So they say don't forget to take your coats. A coat is like a jacket to keep you warm. Okay, not a that's a cloth. We spell coat C O A T. No. Okay, when you're ready, because I can't hear you, you have muted your microphone, your speaker. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay. So now we are going to circle the correct answer. We need to choose if this is B, M, is, or R. Blank, you interested in sport. Good. My blank is a writer and his books are very popular. Okay. We live in the city center and our house have a big garden. So they forgot we need a word here. Our house something have a big garden. Good. <clears throat> you can read number four for me. 
thì nói đi chứ không nhóm gì There are a lot of people outside the school. What is the problem? Yes, good. So you can circle, yes. Okay, and number five? Betsy is playing a game on her computer at, at the moment. Very good. Okay, number six. If you are comfortable, you can finish the rest of your questions on your own. You don't yeah. have to wait for me. Yeah. No. One more second. Okay. Uh, okay. No, okay. <laughs> yes. But that's good. When you correct yourself, it's good. Yes. Very good. Okay. So again, we're still circling the correct answer. Yes. Yes, very good. Okay. Try again. How much? Yes. Good.
Try again. Okay, I'll explain 24 to you just now. Answer 25 first. Okay, ask, answer 20, okay. but answer 25, and then I'll speak to you about 24. Okay, not C. While you're waiting. Yes, good. Okay. Now, just look at 22 because 22 is incorrect. Can you find the correct answer? I think it's uh, one no, 22. My father has been a pilot 20 years. Um, 20 years. For 20 years. Yes. Okay. Let's look at 24 quickly. So 24, all of the answers are correct. But... Why that is, is because they haven't told us what tense they wanted in. Because we have like simple perfect, simple past, simple future, um, <clears throat> past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. And each answer falls in a different tense. So because they haven't told us what tense they are looking for, any of your answers will be correct. But usually, to make it easier, we will just say, Sam asked me if I wanted a lift home after the concert. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you a little bit confused? I understand it. Okay, good. Okay. So, greeting. This should take us about three minutes. So I need I need to know what's your name, how old are you, where do you come from? Maybe also tell me what do you like? Do you like animals? Do you like sport? Do you uh, like uh where where I come from, like uh what uh, is my national or where I born. Okay. Uh, you know, for safety, because this, this is put on the internet, you don't have to tell me, like, for example, you come from Hanoi. You can say, I am from Vietnam. Is that fine? Uh, that is, um, wait, wait a minute. Uh, where my where I come from? That's where I born. Oh, what is my nationality? Okay, no, we're not. Well, your nationality will be Vietnamese, but you were born in Vietnam. So don't tell me the specific place. You can just say Vietnam. You understand? But, but I'm not born in Vietnam. Oh, okay. Where were you born? Uh, I born in Toulouse, French. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's quickly do this because we're actually finished for today, but I just want to hear you speak a little bit. Yeah. Um, I write on here or I speaking with you. You speak with me. We're just talking. Yeah. Uh, my name is Liu Bo Hui. Uh, I'm 12 years old and... My nationality is Vietnam, but I born in uh, French. And when I was, uh, 
one years old, uh, two years old, I have uh, come back to Vietnam. Okay, very good. Okay, yeah. so we're going to end there. Just by the way, if you're born, you said born in French. It's born in France. France is the country. Yes, yeah. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I get to be your teacher and I get to see you again. But you did very well. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, see you next time.